Hey everybody, I am excited to share another project for Finnebear's creative team. I am going to be creating a pretty simple art journal page. Uh, it's There's not really much to it. Uh, sometimes I think that it's good to have a little bit simpler project and uh, especially an art journal page because you could just kind of just create from the heart and just kind of play around with different techniques and things like that. Um, before I get started, all of the supplies will be listed down below, so be sure to check out the supply list. And I uh, would love to read your comments, so leave me a comment letting me know if you art journal or what your favorite type of project to create is. All right, so I am starting off with a page from Prima Marketing's Mixed Media book. I absolutely love this to art journal in. I can take the pages off of the rings and um, it makes it a lot easier to create for me. I cannot create in a book. It's just, it's very hard for me to do. So I like that uh, the mixed media book, I can take the pages off. Um, I added some gesso with a Finnebear silicone spatula and then I let that dry and now I'm going to add some uh, some tape this is just some masking tape uh, you can use washi tape or any sort of type of tape in the end it gets all covered up but I needed a starting point uh, and th for me that's okay I don't mind when things get covered up I feel it adds to my creative process and um, when I think too hard about oh is this going to be covered up oh what you know where I put things sometimes um, especially different types of texture and things that will go in the background of a project I feel it takes away from my creative process and that I get too stressed out and then I just can't create so I just do what I feel if it gets covered up to me it's fine um, it's just a little bit of masking tape it's not um, you know anything that is super expensive or anything like that so I am now adding some texture with some paper paste and a Finnebear stencil and like I said, all of the supplies will be listed down below, so be sure to check them out uh, if you are wondering where to purchase them or what a specific product is and the name. So I added some in the lower right-hand corner and then the upper left-hand corner. And now I am smoothing out the edges. I don't really like the harsh lines. Uh, so what I like to do is just take the spatula and just kind of smooth out most of the edges so the paste kind of blends in with the paper and then to me it just makes everything flow a little bit better together. All right, so now I am going to add some color. I am starting off with Manor Blue Impasto Paint. This is the acrylic paint from Finnebear. And I watered it down and now I am just adding it to this page here. And this is the most time consuming part of this project. I played around with a couple different colors and then in the end I ended up using black, but you'll see that in, in a little bit. Um, so what I like to do is I add a little bit with a paintbrush and then I add a little bit of water and then I will kind of tip it side to side and back and forth so that the color can flow wherever it wants to just so that it has more of an organic look. Uh, and I do put on some of the impasto paint a little bit heavy and then some a little bit thinner uh, just to get a variation of color um, and look and interest. Um, to this page here because I knew it was going to be pretty simple. I didn't want to do too much to it I just wanted a little bit of texture color and then a sticker photo at the end All right, so here is where I am kind of playing around with a little bit different color This is color bloom spray from Prima. It is dragonfly blue 
in the end I don't like it but I kept it in here just so that you guys can see um, because these two colors are pretty similar it was easy to kind of cover up in the end um, but I saved it so uh, if you have this type of issue if you add a color that you don't necessarily like um, more so with color bloom sprays or any sprays or mediums that are water based you just add a ton of water to it and then it basically just runs right off the page especially if you use gesso at the beginning um, that helps uh, with that as well but the impasto paint because it's acrylic paint it won't come up as easily all right so i am continuing to add this color and then i decide after it's dry that i don't like it and then you're going to see me i think add a little bit more manner blue so that oh nope you don't see that i added a little bit more uh, manner blue the impasto paint so that it kind of um, tones that dragonfly blue a little bit now I am adding some black acrylic paint. These are the fluid acrylic paints from Finnebear. I absolutely love these. They go so far, a little bit goes a long way, and I love the colors and the vibrancy um, to them. And they are just the perfect consistency. I did add a little bit of water to them um, just for some areas so that I can get a little bit more organic look to this project so that you know when I add it to the page I can add a little bit more water to it and then kind of move the page around so that the color will kind of go where it wants to as you could see here and I love watching the color go in between all of the texture from the the stencil it just it's so cool to me all right, so I am going to finish up adding the black acrylic paint to this page. And now I am going to go in again with a little bit more Manor Blue impasto paint. And I am kind of globbing it on areas where I feel like I want a little bit more color. And then as you see here, I take the water and just really water it down. Um, this way I can get a little bit more color and the acrylic paint doesn't react to the water uh, after it's dry. So the black is pretty much there. There may be some areas where it kind of blends in a little bit with the blue, but that's okay. But for the most part, the black um, is, is uh, dry, so it's not going to run off. All right, so I am adding some splatters. I watered down the impasto paint quite a bit, just adding a little bit of splatters here and there. And then I am going to add a little bit of black splatters, just adding a little bit more texture. And as you could see, you um, where I added the masking tape, you cannot see it. And again, that's totally fine for me. Sometimes you just need to start a project, even if in the end it gets covered up. Um, all right, so I took a sticker from Finnebear's, uh, quote, uh, pack. I can't, I can't remember exactly what it's called, uh, but it will be listed down below. It is an amazing quote and it has a cute little picture on it. And I thought it was perfect for this page. So I added a little bit of white gesso to the edges and now I'm going to add a little bit of stamping. I'm using a little Finnebear stamp uh, with some gray archival ink. Uh, the archival ink will not bleed. It is waterproof. Um, that's why I'm using it because at this point I didn't know for sure if I was done adding any color. Um, I was pretty much sure I was done, but I wanted to make sure, so that's why I'm using archival ink. And the gray is just very subtle. I didn't want it to be black or very dark uh, stamping. All right, so I added the uh, quote to the page, and I am now adding some white splatters. I love adding white splatters and I did take a paper towel with some gesso and kind of blotch it on the center um, where most of that white space is just to kind of tone down a little bit of the splatters that I had added. 
um, I really en enjoy, excuse me, uh, white space. So I really wanted it to be a little bit more toned down. All right, so I am just going to continue to add the splatters and this is watered down white gesso. Uh, I love adding splatters with this because you could see maybe it kind of like, I don't know, <laughs> the only word that comes to mind is splatter, obviously, because that's what I'm doing. Um, it makes lines and big globs and little, little dots and it's just really nice texture to a page. All right, that is going to complete this art journal page. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel or Finna Bear's channel, I hope you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time that uh, we upload a video or I upload a video on my channel. Um, and don't forget to leave me a comment down below. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Bye.